So I did a thing because Mr. Thomas bet me that I wouldn't. So uh, wish me luck. Your girl is locking his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Tadro. Thank you so much for checking out my video. But let me tell you why I decided to do this video. Okay, I have been thinking about locking my hair for years. I mean, at least three or four years plus. I have been natural since 2011. And you know, I was really good as far as growing my hair, nurturing it, I love all the hairstyles. I'm going to do like some back in the day videos just so you can kind of see the history of my hair and how I was able to grow my hair from up here all the way down to the middle of my back. And then it got too long. Um, and I used to do a lot of fun styles as well too. But then your girl wanted to get her snap back after my two kids and I started working out like crazy. And it's hard to manage your hair as a natural and working out. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's very hard. Your hair is sweaty, um, a lot harder, a lot crunchier. Uh, my washing goals or any style never lasted past two, three days, maybe at the most. I mean, it was really pushing it. So I was like, okay, you know what? I kept my hair in braids, braids, twists, whatever you want to call it. Spending two, three hundred dollars every time I get it, get it like maybe four, five, six times a year. Uh, so I was doing a lot and so you know it's like you know what maybe I should lock my hair up it was either I'm going to lock it or I'm going to cut it off and so you know what it was like okay I need something different and that's why I am where I am now and I decided on March 13th to lock my hair and I decided to do the two string twist because I wanted to be able to still function with my hair and after watching a couple videos and just reading up I know a lot of people say you can still style your hair if you do a two string twist so I'm going to show you some pictures of before my hair uh, the day that I did get it locked because I do have a lot of hair that's really thick and it's been one week now um, and there's already been some shrinkage which is fine um, it's starting to curl up on the ends and I just do a quick walk around walk around girl so you can see it you know what we working with but so far I love it your girl has been able to get up and shake it off and go you know put it in a ponytail and the workouts have been loving it it's so cute so don't ask me how many i got because i don't know yet i don't i don't do all that so let me tell you a quick backstory so i went to go get it done by a lady and she made them too big and let me show you i'm gonna show you a picture of what it looked like hot mess right so i came back home and i she basically just parted my hair before me because i came back home and made them smaller and retwisted it myself. So sometimes you gotta do stuff yourself. But I love it. What do you guys think? Love it. I love it because I've been able to wear all kind of little quick hairstyles on the go. I throw on a headband, put it in the ponytail, whatever, I'm in and out. So if you're debating about locking your hair, um, just watching a lot of videos, most people say you will know. So um, you will know. So my goal is to do a video every week so I can kind of keep up with it and I can actually see when it really transitions and locks. So, but so far, I love it, y'all. I love it. I love it. It's cute. It's different for me because I'm used to really big hair. Um, I'm used to my afro, but so far, I'm happy. Yes, your girl put on a quick headband and I am out that door. What y'all think? Simple and easy, right? Out the door. All right, sometimes I might pull some hair out in the front. I purposely want a middle part and a good side part because I wear both, it doesn't matter to me. But see, cute but still simple. And I want y'all to see the edges and stuff up close. All right, you know, I'm natural, so. The edges, yes. I'll wear it up in a quick ponytail up front. I know I have a little lint to my hair, so I obviously don't know how it's going to turn out and I expect it to shrink as time goes by. And that's fine with me. I have no problem with that. 
So this is what I've been doing. I'll also throw on a headband or a scarf or something like that. You see, it's starting to get a little fuzzy and I'm fine with that, yes. But I do put on my hair wrap every night, faithfully, but I've always done that. Even as you know, a natural, you always put on that hair wrap. Don't forget it. <laughs> I love it. Or you can put that up. So far, I am so excited that I did decide to go ahead and lock my hair. I am excited for the journey, excited for something different. I am loving the get up and go and you know, every once in a while, every couple days, I put some oil on my hair, but that's just natural. It's what I've always done because my hair is very thick and it dries very quickly. And like I said, I work out sometimes twice a day with me teaching fitness classes and doing my own workouts. So I have to keep my hair hydrated. I do pretty much the same thing that I would do when my hair was natural. I'll spray a little moisturizer on there with some water, with a little oil in it, and I go. I've done it as a natural. So I'm just going to continue to do that because that's what's always worked for my hair. Um, so it'll be interesting not washing my hair and keeping my scalp clean with all the workouts. So we'll see how that goes. If you have any tips for me, put them in the comments below. I will be taking all feedback because I didn't do a lot of research. I just pretty much dived in and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take care of this and just do it. I'm just going to do it. And that's pretty much what I did. So I love it, y'all. I love it. 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 See y'all in a week and uh yeah come back check me out